Okay, so let's get started. This video is a response to Monchichi. Uh, Monchichi had some questions about the present continuous. Now, on my other channel, Grammar Gurus, I have a video about the present continuous, and Monchichi had actually quite a lot of questions. So, what I did is I picked out some that we'll go over in this video. Okay, so let's look at these first two sentences. So, I'm enjoying watching you drive, and I enjoy watching you drive. Now, I guess maybe the problem here is that you're seeing this ing verb and this ing verb. Which one is the main verb? Um, is this a verb in the sentence? Why are there two verbs, possibly? Uh, let's just jump into it, okay? So, in this sentence, this is a present continuous sentence. This is the helper verb, this is the main verb. Now, this here, to understand this, you have to know what a verbal and what a verbal phrase is. A verbal is a verb form, either an infinitive form, a ing form, a present participle, or a verb 3, a past participle, that is in a sentence but is not acting as a verb in that sentence. It's acting as something else, either a noun or an adjective in that sentence. So, in this, watching is a verbal, and watching you drive is a verbal phrase. Watching you drive acts as the object for enjoying. It acts as a noun and the object for enjoying. You could replace this with another noun as the object. I'm enjoying this ice cream. Now there you go. This ice cream is an object, is a noun acting as an object of enjoying. But instead of that, we have this verbal phrase watching you drive. Let's underline that. Okay, next, I enjoy watching you drive. Okay, this is basically the same thing, except in this sentence you're talking about that you're enjoying watching him drive at this moment, you're doing it now, whereas this one you're talking about I enjoy watching you drive regularly, often. So, that's the difference here. Okay, let's look at the next one. So, yesterday, when I drove, was driving, I guess, Monchichi, that here you want to know what's the better or the correct form to use here. Uh, both of them are correct. Drove is just the past simple, and was driving is the past continuous. Drove just talks about something that happened, was completed in the past, and was driving is focusing more on the action of driving, but either one can be used. I think that was driving is, uh, is maybe better, more descriptive, so let's go with that. Okay, I saw my neighbor crash, crashing his car. Okay, now once again, we're going to go back to verbal and verbal phrase. This is uh, either way, with crash his car or crashing his car. Both of them are verbal phrases. Now this one uses the infinitive. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying if it's an infinitive, why doesn't it have the two in the front? Well, not all infinitives need to have two in front. In fact, there are quite a lot of times that an infinitive is used in a sentence and the two is not uh, in front of the infinitive, the verbal. So, often the, in let's go into that for a second, often the infinitive uh, form is used as a verbal in a sentence. Now, what is a verbal again? Remember, that is one of three forms of the verb, either the infinitive form, the ing form, the present participle, or the verb three, the past participle, that is used in a sentence but is not a verb in the sentence. It's a verb form, but it's not used as a verb in the sentence. Uh, in this case, this is an infinitive that is not being used as a verb, and this is an ing, a 
present participle that's not being used as a verb. They are instead being used to create a verbal phrase, crash his car, or crashing his car, and this verbal phrase is acting as an adjective for the noun neighbor. So this verbal phrase is acting as a noun, and this verbal phrase, either one of them, you can use either one of them, are acting as an adjective to the noun neighbor. Now I know that can get a little tricky. As I said in the beginning of this video, I plan on doing a whole series covering all parts of speech and phrases and clauses and how they're used in sentences. But uh, for now, I hope that helps you, Monchichi. And keep watching, I'll be doing more video responses. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do. This is Whiteboard Gurus. And you can also check out my other channel, Grammar Gurus. And until the next video, see you later.